heavy rain lashed the Tiruvananthapuram district, triggering mudslides and disrupting train and road traffic. An orange alert has been sounded for seven districts as heavy rain has been forecast for the next two days. Good evening, you are watching the New Indian Express news updates from Kerala. The Supreme Court will hear the Mulya Periyar case on November 22nd. The hearing was postponed considering Kerala's plea that it needs time to study Tamil Nadu's affidavit. In its affidavit filed on Friday, Tamil Nadu said Kerala was continuing with its obstructionist attitude and was depriving Tamil Nadu of its right to carry out activities at the dam. Rain wreaked havoc in Tiruvananthapuram, inundating low-lying areas and triggering mudslides at various places. Train traffic from Tiruvananthapuram to Nagarkoil was disrupted as mudslide buried tracks at three places. Traffic on the Kanyakumari Highway was diverted after a portion of the Maridathur Bridge in Niyatingara collapsed. IMD has forecast heavy rainfall across the state for the next two days. An orange alert has been sounded in Tiruvananthapuram, Kollam, Pattanantita, Alapura, Kottayam, Iduki and Kasarko districts for tomorrow. Consuming liquor in a private place without causing nuisance or annoyance to anybody is not an offence. That's the view of the Kerala High Court. The court said the mere smell of alcohol cannot be construed to mean that a person was intoxicated or was under the influence of liquor. A two-year-old boy died due to food poisoning at Narikuni in Koriko today. Mohammad Yamin had consumed chicken roll at a marriage on Thursday. As many as 10 people including Yasin's siblings have been hospitalized. Kerala reported 6,468 new cases of COVID today and the test positivity rate declined to 8.99%. The death toll rose to 35,685 with the confirmation of 174 more deaths including 151 previously excluded deaths. That's all for now. For more updates, please follow us on social media. Thank you and good night.